It's going off. All sort manner. Yeah, it's a bit nippy around here. Eh? Is it? Mm. The world changed here. Yeah. So it says on the sign back ah, there. For you, it changed when we got married. <laughs> yeah, not for the better. Sir so Isaac Newton hmm. was lived here and changed the world and invented gravity. You've no idea what you're talking about. Hi, we're Sam and Kat. I'm Sam, and this idiot here is Kat. We've been making videos for the last five years following our days out and further travels. If you haven't already, why not subscribe, sit back, relax, and join us on our journey. My gimbal went gimp. It did. Uh, well, there you go. So where are we today? Uh, Woolerton Manor. No. Where are we? Woolsort Manor. Woolsort Manor. <laughs> yeah. And he was born here. So Isaac Newton. Well, he lived here. I don't know if he was born here. Was he born here? I've no idea. I know an apple dropped on his head and then he... Really... And we're going to see the tree that the apple fell from. Mm. I'm going to sit under it and hope something similar happens. What, you want next. an apple to fall on your head? Well, it might make me the next most famous person in the world. <laughs> yeah, so we've come to Woolsthorpe Manor. Oi! What? It's going off. Woolsthorpe Manor. Yeah, it's a bit nippy around here. Is it? Mm. So, Sir Isaac Newton mm. was lived here and changed the world and invented gravity. You've no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Up here. I'll follow you. I wouldn't. <laughs> Why? Have you never learnt your lesson after all these years? He's at the back of the property then. That's his back door. Oh, yeah. I see. They've circled the tree. They've circled it? Well, put a thing around it, look, so you know which tree it is. Yeah. So what's that circle for over there then? Because it did get blown down, I heard, in the wind. And they had to replant it, re-put it into the earth. Because it got blown down in the wind. It says in 1820 the tree blew down after a storm. Oh, there you are then. Sketches were made of it and the broken wood was used to make snuff boxes and small trinkets. Yeah. Fortunately, the tree remained rooted and regrew strongly. This is the tree we now have. There you are then. So... Is it still the tree? Yeah, it just grew again. This is our there, then. Yeah? Well, he wasn't doing too badly in the first place, was he? Well... No. We've got, we're, we're on a mission. Are we? Yeah, we're going to do house, tree and garden, and down to the science centre, and then cafe, tea and cake. I've lost the tickets. Oh, for crying out loud. I put them in my pocket, didn't I? Yeah, there we are, look. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong pocket. Tit -tit. This is a kitchen, look. There's uh, some pheasants and some, well, a partridge or something, and some rabbits. Yeah. And a rabbit, but. I think there's some ducks. <laughs> That's how a farmhouse would be, though, isn't it? Hmm? Hey. That's how a farmhouse would be, though. Yeah. I've got some skin on there, go here, look. Fair. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I used to go gamekeeping as a kid. Oh, and, right. uh, so all the hanging, the, yeah. you know, and all that, but she's like, oh. <laughs> it's children, but why don't you hang up there? Yeah. This must be his mum's room then.
his mother um, brought them back after her second marriage. Robert Newton's London. So he may have lived. So Isaac Newton's apple tree calf. Did you ever think you'd come to such a a place of history? You just make sure you keep your feet on the ground, won't you? Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Full. There it is. The apple tree. There it is. A little place, but yeah. But how did they know it was this particular apple tree? Because it's all these trees, all these apple trees. Because they know which tree it was. How? Because they do. It was logged at the time, and was it? Yeah. You sure? Yep. There you are. Very sure. Very There's sure. The anyway. Indeed. All sort and it's a bit hard, isn't it, when you like read about it at school and yeah, and science then projects and all that sort of stuff, like. And it was just somebody, just somebody messing about in his garden, really, and in his house. So what's this then? Space sapling, growing from a pip from Newton's tree. Yeah. So, uh, oh. it's taken a long time to grow, isn't it? It says, growing from a pip from Newton's tree that travelled with Major Tim Peake on his mission Prince, Prince to the International Space Station in 2015. <laughs> Imagine that as your legacy all these years on and what he discovered and stuff is still you know what I mean yeah it's like his legacy is literally infinite isn't it <laughs> And his mum wondered what people would think. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I feel clever just being here. <laughs> I, th I thought I was clever before. You're not clever. But now I just feel even more clever. Do you? Yeah. Inspired. I feel closer to the cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she's thinking about is the, the cake. And she's on her way, look. She's, she can smell it. Yeah. There's the house. Manor house. There you go. <laughs> Did you know that? What? <laughs> Lincoln Shear Asparagus. Good cough remedy for sheep. Right. Good King Henry. Hmm. Well, that's a lie, isn't it? What is? He was probably one of the most famous kings, but he wasn't a good king. Did you hear what? Did you read what day he was born on? No. December twenty-fifth. Christmas Day. Yeah. Jolly good. So I think this is like a little little play area for kids or something, is it? I suspect they're bought here for educational purposes and do something structured. I don't think they just come and play. Well, yeah, that's what I mean, though. Mm. Because I would imagine this is popular with schools to do school. The early floor stuff. plan was quite different from today's. The front door opened into the little parlour. What's well, so this back door was really his front door? What's the original like? staircase was at the back of the house. Yeah, and it was looked like a, a, a twisty one. Look. Mm. Yeah, look. Yeah. We've been fooled. Well, no, it, in some, the kitchen it said that it had... There's some trickery going on. She's only found the coffee shop. Oh, 
I think I might have a cream tea, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll have a cream tea with you. I've not had a cream tea in a long while. Yeah, I had one the other. I'm it. Where did I go the other, other week? I had a cream tea on my own. Gaines Thought, was it? No, not Gaines Thought. Uh, can't remember. No. What book's you buying? What's them? Oh book. What? Martina Cole. I've heard of her. Yeah. I've read quite a few of her books. Have you? Yeah. Are they naughty ones? No. Mm -hmm. Our books are not priced, but we suggest around £2 for paperbacks. I'd love to live somewhere like this, in here. Imagine this being your bedroom. And then, obviously, your living room and all your kitchen downstairs and that. And yeah, it's not for me at all. Isn't it? No. Oh, I'd love it. I like but... bright, modern. Yeah. Towny. Yeah. I've got some money. Where do you leave it? No. In the box. I'm putting five... Yeah, but how do they know? Let me film you putting it in. Just in case anyone questions you. There you go. Hmm. Well, because it's based on trust, I mean, how many thieves yeah. do you think visit National Trust? Eleven, it's already set up. Did you nearly trip them? Hey. You nearly tripped them, didn't you? Hey. Alright, here we go then. Ready? Down we go. Well, I don't get the purpose of that. Well, read it then, what's it say? Roll a ball down the ramp to make the four bells ring. Listen particularly to the time between each ring. Are yeah. they the same? If not, why not? I, d I don't know. I don't think there was the same. Do it again. You move the little bells up and down until you get it the same. How oh dear. Yeah, you... that's what it said. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have, to get it right, you have to hit where it says start and not at the top of the ramp. Yeah. There you go, crack on then. <laughs> crack on, come on. So you're doing the experiment. Um, so you're yeah. going to work out the mathematics behind it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll try. <laughs> go on then, get the balls. The second bell should be on the four and the third bell on the nine. Second bell on the four. Well, it's not bell. on the four. Third bell. No, what? No, leave the third bell where on it was nine. on eleven. Hey. Okay. We're just messing it up now. He said the third one on the nine. The third one on the nine. Go on then. Yeah. <laughs> just strapping it. On the nine. That one on the four. Well, they, the second and the fourth one sounded different. No, it's the time between each one, not the noise. Right. I see. Whatever. Yeah, you've been very stroppy. I'm not. Yeah. I need the toilet. <coughs> right. Now where? Toilet. So you'd fasten your cattle to the wall. Fill this with hay so they can have a eat. And get your stalls. And get milking. <laughs> I don't know if it took a picture.
So that was Wolfthorpe Manor. And uh, the world changed here. Yeah. So it says on the sign back ah, there. For you, it changed when we got married. <laughs> yeah, not for the better. So yes, uh, Isaac Newton um, discovered all about light, gravity, gravity, momentum, all sorts of motion, celestial. I don't know what you say. Well, about the planets and that. Mm. Um, very clever man from humble beginnings. Well, not that humble. Well, yeah, it's fairly humble. He was just a farmer. There was many like him. You know, given that that was the main thing in them days, you, you had a homestead, mm. didn't you? Oh, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose he did all right. And then uh, we're going to head off. Get home Sunday afternoon. We've made ourselves feel sick with the cream teas. <laughs> Actually, have I do It's only feel like an sick. hour since we had a full English. It was two hours, but it still went long enough between the two. It's not two hours. Yes, it was. We ate the lunch, the dinner at like one o'clock. Times it now. Twenty to four. Yeah. I looked at the time mm. when we sat down. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we're going to do. So Wolfsort Manor, just outside Grantham at Colstworth. Mm. Is that right? Yep. Um, yeah, place of great history. It certainly is. Stephen Hawkins has been. Sir and Patrick that, Moore. Patrick Moore looked just like your nan. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. <laughs> he I'm going to find a picture of your nan and put them both in. No, you're not. You're not doing that. I went to visit your nan in Camberley, <laughs> and I thought I'd, I was visiting someone famous. I thought, this is Patrick Moore. Where's her nan? <laughs> You're absolutely not putting that picture in, no. Anyway, right, we'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye.